Morning guys, we're here with John with Midnight Runner Publications. How are you? Uh, good mate, how are you? Not too bad, not too bad. So, first off, can you tell the world what you do and what is it that, you, that you've done? Yeah, yeah, I, um, I write and illustrate all my own comics, okay. uh, graphic novels. I've got uh, very different stories about some that go from like a true story about when I was in high school, which was my first comic. Um, and then I've got one about internet dating, another one about uh, Lolitas versus Bronies, and uh, another one which is about robots and sci-fi. And yeah, I've got a, like a very varied range of stories from romance and action, all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, yeah. So, John, what was the first um, the publication that you had? Uh, my first comic was uh, a story called Just You and Me, which is uh, a true story about my high school experiences. Just basically one day I was just trolling around my room and I found my old diary I used to keep in year 11. And I was like, what? It was so hilarious. I was just like, yeah, this would make a great story. And I'm like, why don't I draw a comic of it? And I'd never, I actually never drawn a comic before. <laughs> I think I drew like gag comics in high school and that was it. And then went on to make the 300 page monster. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. So with the other, like, you, know, you mentioned you did, you've done sci-fi as well, but with the other comics that you've created, are they also based on your personal life as well? Or? The aspects of my personal life. So the story about internet dating is obviously inspired by my own personal experiences, <laughs> uh, but not quite, because that story is called My Girlfriend, The Secret Agent. So a guy ends up dating a secret agent inadvertently. Um, all sorts of crazy shit happens, car chases. And, uh, um, but I mean, obviously that's a bit of a stretch, but <laughs> you know, it's all, every aspect's been inspired in some way by my own life. Um, yeah, so I've got another story called Survival of the Lolitas, uh, which is about my friend who is a Lolita, and that was inspired by her interactions with some bronies she met once. And um, yeah, just yeah, on from there, really. So has that publication been finished or is it still ongoing? No, no, Survival of the Lolitas is complete. Um, all my stories are complete except for my latest one, which is called Machine Heart, which is like a sci fi kind of action thing. Um, and that's only its first volume out, so I'm hoping to get the next volume a bit later this year. But I have a pretty large page count, so it takes me ages to do them. So. <laughs> but it's good for the reader though, there's always something there, there's always a page turn, which yeah. is what we want. Yeah. Well, I, the way I pace my stories is, um, it's like you're almost watching a movie. So like I find a lot of comics sometimes are like too intense, and too much dialogue, it takes you half an hour to go through a page, whereas my stories, I try to pace it so, yeah, so you're watching a movie. So, like, there'll be like a suspenseful, f there'll be a few panels where there's no dialogue, which, you know, is used to build suspense. And then you can have like one panel with just like one or two words, which just really emphasize that part of the message. So, yeah, it's, and it's like, yeah, like you're watching a movie basically. So, some people might think it's slow, but it means that you can read a 70 page comic in like 10 minutes, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I know. So, I know, I know it might be a bit hard to choose, but do you have a favorite? Well, I'd have to say my favorite, now my favorite is my latest one, because I suppose every time I, I uh, start a new story, I get like so involved in it, um, that I kind of just forget everything else. And I'm like, just because I focus just on that. Because it takes me ages to make it, I've got to stay focused. So yeah, all my thoughts are always about this one comic, and towards the end of that process, I'll probably start thinking about something else, and then I'll, my, produ my productivity on that comic will start to slow down, and. Uh, yeah, but yeah, that's my favorite one at the moment. That's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. So your comics, are they based um, in sort of like mythological places or are they based in like in Australia or are they...? Um, well, it's in a, like a nondescript country, um, but essentially it's just like modern times. Yeah, modern times. It's not, I don't have any like fantasy stories or anything like that. Um, yeah, everything's like these days. So yeah, there's nothing too far-fetched. Oh, Okay, yeah, there's lots of far-fetched stuff in it, but it's like, you know, real world kind of stuff, yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, anyway, John, thank you very much, and yeah. yeah no worries. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be picking up one as well. Ah, oh, great, thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, cheers, mate. Ciao. Nice to meet you. All right.